Marty's ex-wife, Marla, is erratic and stable, and she's crazy. Marla is very controlling of my son. Marla hates my guts, and she will do anything she can to make my life miserable. She has turned my son against me. Marla is constantly making up excuses why David can't see us, why he can't call us, why he can't visit or talk to us. I'm not trying to keep my son from Marty and Jennifer, but they can't understand if he doesn't want to go over there. If I mention to David about seeing his father, he refuses and says he's not going. When Marla doesn't let us see David, we don't play games. We go straight to the police. We have probably filed a hundred or more contempt of court charges against her, and we have spent over $40,000 in legal fees. She's mean, vindictive, and paranoid. Marla loves to use social media in a way to attack Marty and I. She calls Marty in her post a deadbeat dad and accuses him of not paying child support. I've been called a whore. I think Marla is completely delusional. She does have mental issues. Once I was out of town, I got a phone call from the police department saying my son David was missing. Marla told the police that she thought I had kidnapped David. About an hour after the police knocked on my door, they found David playing at the park. Once David was at our home and he had a little bit of a cough, so Jennifer gave him some cough medicine. David was vomiting and throwing up. And at that point, we text Marla. Marla sent the police to our home. Marla insisted that we had poisoned him with cough medicine. The most disturbing was the time when David showed up with bruises on his body. He was so nervous when we asked him about him. He had bruises all up and down his legs and all up and down his arms. And you can tell that they were from a handprint on his arm because you couldn't line up the hand. He said that he fell off of his scooter, but I know there is no way he got those bruises that way. We contacted the police and Child Protective Services. Somebody in Marla's household is responsible for it. We're at a very critical moment. Marla's house is in foreclosure. She doesn't seem to have a plan for where David will be living. It's horrible that my son David is caught in the middle. Okay, guys, I'm really glad you're here for reasons that might be apparent, maybe not. We'll get to that soon. But what do you, what's going on here? Why, why is this such a drama? You know, it's hard. I watch my husband. He's a very hard worker. He's a very good provider, and he's a very good father. Mm -hmm. And to have these accusations, it's just ridiculous. It's, they're not true. And, you know, she's, my husband has been to the grocery store, had, a, had somebody spit in his face, telling him that he didn't pay his child support. He can't pick up his children alone. He's been arrested. Why do you think this is going on? I mean, you were married to this woman for 28 years, right? Yes. Would you have predicted this? Yes. She always made the threats. If we ever divorced, I'd never see my kids, and I'd die a lonely man.